In the previous video, you read the story of Mittu and the Yellow Mango. Now let's answer some questions about the story. What did Mittu see on the tree? To answer this question, I will go back to my textbook and I will read. He saw a big yellow mango on a tree. So I know that Mittu saw a big yellow mango on the tree. So I will go back to my question and I will write the answer. Mittu saw a big yellow mango on the tree. What did the big black crow say? To answer this question, I will go back to my textbook and I will read. He flew down to the tree. Caw, caw, go away. This is my tree, said a voice. Mittu looked up. He saw a big black crow. So now I know that the crow told Mittu to go away because it was his tree. So I will go back to my question and I will write my answer. The big black crow asked Mittu to go away because that was his tree. What did Mittu see under the tree? To answer this question, I will go back to my textbook and I will read. Mittu saw a red balloon. It was under a tree. So now I know that Mittu found a red balloon under a tree. So I will go back to my question and I will write the answer. Mittu saw a red balloon under the tree. Do you like eating mangoes? Let me think. Yes, I love to eat mangoes. So let me go back to my question and write my answer. Yes, I like eating mangoes. Do you like green mangoes? Why? Green mangoes with salt and red chilli powder? I love it. So, my answer is yes. So, I will go back to my question and I will write my answer. Yes, I like green mangoes. It tastes nice with salt and red chilli powder. Do you like yellow mangoes? Why? Yes, I like yellow mangoes. So let me write my answer. Yes, I like eating yellow mangoes. They are very sweet. Trace the path of the ladybird. For this, I will take my pencil and I will start from the first ladybird. And I will trace the path that the ladybird takes. And move on. Like this. At the end, your image should look like this. Match the fruit and vegetables to the trees they grow on. Let's read them first. Banana, coconut, apple, grapes, mango. Coconut tree, apple tree, banana tree, mango tree, grapevine. Now, let's look at the first one. Banana. I know that bananas grow on a banana tree. So, I will draw a line from banana to banana tree. The next one is coconut. I know that coconut grows on a coconut tree. So, I will draw a line from coconut to coconut tree. The next one is apple. I know that apples grow on apple trees. So, I will draw a line from apple to apple trees. The next one is grapes. I know that grapes grow on a grapevine. So, I will draw a line from grapes to grapevine. The last one is mango. I know that mangoes grow on a mango tree. So, I will draw a line from mango to mango tree. This is a tabla. You need to draw over the dotted lines 
like this when you finish your image should look like this let's say these words aloud bat cat mat all these words belong to the at family now let's look at these words with their pictures bat this is a bat bat is something you used to play cricket when you go out to play you take your bat this is a cat a cat is an animal this is what a cat looks like mat a mat is something we wipe our feet on we usually keep mats outside our house this is a mat let's read these words once again bat cat mat fed red bed all these words belong to the ed family now let's see what these words mean fed this biscuit is being fed to the little sparrow red is a color it looks like this bed is something that you sleep on this is a bed fed red bed dot hot pot all these words belong to the ot family now let's take a look at what they mean this is a dot a dot can be this small or this big this is a dot hot when something is getting burnt or it's put in fire or it's being heated up like when your mummy cooks food the pot will get hot pot is something you use to keep things in it can be made out of many things like steel and clay this is a clay pot dot hot pot bun fun run all these words belong to the un family let's take a look at their pictures and what they mean bun this is a bun it looks somewhat like bread you can eat it fun when you do something that you enjoy you have fun run is a type of exercise you do this when you play games bun fun run hit bit pit all these words belong to the it family let's take a look at their pictures and what they mean hit in this picture this man is hitting the ball with his bat bit mosquitoes bite you this is bit when you have an apple you take a bite out of it you bit into the apple bit is the past tense of the word bite pit pit is a deep hole in the ground this is a pit choose a letter from the box and complete the words below a e i o u these are vowels you can complete these words with many different letters not just one for example s dash t this could be s a t sat s e t set s i t sit you can choose the letter that you want it to be for example p dash g this could be p e g peg p i g pig or p u g pug you can choose the letter you want it to be the next one could be 
B A G bag, B E G beg, or B I G big. The next one D dash T. This could be D O T dot and only D O T dot. The next one is S dash N. This could be S I N sin or S U N sun. F dash N. This could be F A N fan. F U N fun. Or F I N fin. L dash G. This could be L A G lag. L E G leg. Or L O G log. S dash T. This could be S A T sat. S E T set. Or S I T sit. But we already have S I T sit here. So let's make this set. S E T set. The next one could be L dash T. L I T lit. Or L E T let. The next one is B dash N. This could be B A N ban, B I N bin, or B U N bun. Now we have come to the end of this video. In this video, we solved questions about the story Mittu and the Yellow Mango.